If someone were to ask me how to make their Minecraft look better, the first thing I think of is shaders. It's just a no-brainer, they look amazing, and the mods that are required to use them actually increase your performance rather than decrease them, so it's just a given. This mod I'm showing you here goes even further than that and improves the game in a way that I think will change the way we look at Minecraft forever. Whoa, now that's what I'm talking about. What? L let me explain this, guys. I don't think you understand. This is seven chunks. Look at this, watch. I turn off the mod and it all goes away. It's all fake. Wow, that is a crazy graphical glitch. But you can see, this is on eight render distance. You can see as it updates right here. Dude, unfreaking believable. So what exactly is going on right here with this mod? Basically, what's happening is this mod is adding something called LODs to Minecraft. LODs is a way of rendering terrain so that the farther away it is from the player, the lower quality it is, so you can get away with showing a lot more without hindering your performance. This works because when something is distant, you don't need to see that much detail. In this case, Minecraft is adding those LODs at the edges of your normal vanilla render distance, and it's really effective. Look at look at that that's just absolutely crazy and this is what at 13 chunks that's insane this mod's insane like mod of the year it's so important to immersion to be able to see your world to be able to see it it's not perfect but man it is pretty when it works. Getting this mod to work though was a bit of a process, a bit of a hassle. The Distant Horizons mod has been in development for a while, but if you want to use it with shaders, you have to download a beta version of Iris and the Distant Horizons mod from the official Discord server, which I'll have linked down below if you want to try this out for yourself. Assuming you're familiar with adding mods to Minecraft, this shouldn't be too difficult, and even if you're new to it, it's not that hard. Basically, all you have to do is run the Iris installer that you got from the download link in the Discord server. This window will pop up, and after selecting which version you want to install for, make sure Iris is selected, and make sure that the Use Experimental Distant Horizons version, uh, whatever, is selected. It says it's not recommended, you actually want that. I'm supposed to click on this. It says not recommended. The freak. Yeah. Install. What that's going to do is it's going to create an installation for Minecraft with a mods folder, or in this case, it's in the Iris Beta Reserved folder, and you just move the mods that are in that folder to wherever you have your mods. Okay. All of these. So now we should just be able to copy, paste these in here, skip this file. Okay. Once you've loaded up the game, you can't just immediately use your favorite shader pack. Okay, yeah, it's working. Looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get some shaders up in this. This pack doesn't have, chunks won't show up. This isn't a bug, get another shader. Oh, is that why? Well, I'm glad you've given me this message because I've always used complimentary. Okay, well, what's a shader that works then, the freak? I just don't think it looks as good as TikTok. Can I see what shader pack you're using, please? If you try to use a shader pack that doesn't work, it pops up this nice convenient little message saying that it doesn't work. So after doing some digging in the Iris support Discord server, which I'll have linked down below uh, if you want to try this out for yourself. I'm relatively certain I have the right one. As far as I know, the Bliss shader is the only one that works at the moment, but hopefully future shaders um, become compatible as things are updated. So I wanted to talk about how you can get the most out of Distant Horizons. It's not without its bugs. It's a little odd to work with. So here's what I found works for me after messing with it for a little bit. So what I've found is that if you go to the options, it's in the options tab and then the Distant Horizons options, which is up there. Here you can turn on and off the rendering. This LOD render distance, where the actual render distance is, anything higher than 256 just doesn't load very well. And it just takes a little while or it doesn't make much of a difference. Like here, we'll wait for it to load. Actually just loading in general takes a little bit. You can try to like jog it by changing the vanilla render distance. That was 300. Let's change it back to 256. You have to give it a minute. So. A lot of the times it just doesn't load unless you leave the world and then re-enter it because you could see it was taking forever it wasn't really loading but when i relaunch the game here it will work see there it is so that's a little weird i don't understand why that happens whoa but yeah, so leaving the world and then jumping back in can cause changes to take effect. So we can try doing a higher level and see if it loads. Not really loading. So let's leave and rejoin it. And now it works. 
It's so cool to see it pop in like that. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I've not actually bothered to increase it to like 500 or higher. Wow. Let's try to go even higher. 700. Oh, let's wait and see again if it loads or not. I don't know if it's just if it's just a matter of time type of thing. Here, let's leave. Rejoin. Oh my gosh. Look at how far that is. That's insane. So yeah, you have to kind of leave the world and rejoin it to make any settings that you change work. Let's see. I don't know if... I'm pretty sure like 4,000 is the limit. Let's try like 1,500. There it is. Look at that. That's insane. So, man, no way. That's 1,500. I mean... You won't even notice a difference. You're gonna be you're gonna be up here. And it's just as far as the eye can see. That's amazing. This is unreal. This is like unlike anything you've ever seen before. I do wonder if there's diminishing returns though, because see, there are gaps. There are gaps in the rendering. And I don't know why that is. I wonder if some chunks are just more difficult for it to load for some reason compared to others. Now there are different chunk settings. So if we go into the graphics, advanced options, graphics, and then go to render quality. This is set to block, which is the fanciest, but the fastest is chunk. It might just work on its own without having to leave. 1500 might be pushing it a little bit. Let's, let's do about 700. That worked before. Because again, there's like diminishing returns. Now you can see chunks loaded in way faster, but they're lower resolution, which is really goofy looking, but honestly still not too bad. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not too bad. What's really interesting is seeing everything pop in as you go towards it. See, look at that. That's really interesting. With chunks, I wonder if we can do a crazy number, like 20. From what I've been able to tell, 4,000 is the limit. Can't do 4,500. You can't do 5,000. Uh, 5,000, you can't do 4,100. 4,000 is the ultimate, ultimate limit. And while it's on chunk, let's try loading this. This is like the most performant you could exceed out of this mod, pushing it to its limits. So far, this has never crashed on me, which is nice. Like the game's never crashed. I have a 3080, but this might be too much for it. Still hasn't loaded yet. It's that blank on the horizon. There it is. Hold on. It took a long time. See, again, still over there, it's not loading very well. So there's certain areas that don't load very well. So there are diminishing returns. This is 4,000, but like there's that one that's loading all the way out there. So there's a cap. Like, so you can see this. So this is 4,000, right? And if we set this back down to, let's say 500, this is 500. Let's wait for it all to load in. That's basically the same. There's never really a reason to exceed anything beyond like between 200 to 500 because it won't make that much of a difference because you saw that 4,000 was loaded. So there are diminishing returns. Let's turn this back to block. There are in-betweens like two blocks, four blocks, half a chunk and a chunk, but block has worked just fine. And you shouldn't need to change anything in here. Everything works just fine. All the other settings, not really too much to look into. So you can see that's basically good enough. It covers your field of view. And with the shaders, with the fog, it's convincing enough. Like that looks basically like you're seeing the whole world. So I wouldn't go above, you know, 500. Maybe. Let's just see what that looks like again. Off. Yeah, we'll do it without shaders. Off and on. Oh, interesting. Look at that error message. Whoa. So again, it is very buggy. Like you can see there, just because I turned off shaders, it like didn't know what to do. So let's leave and let it reload. Oh, I think I might have messed up something. I'm going to put this back down to 256 because that's felt like a good number. Eh, we could do like 350. Why not? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. That's quite the bug. Quite the bug. Let's see if we can get it to work. So if we turn it off and then rejoin, maybe that'll fix it. Let's turn it back on. True. Maybe we'll load them in. Maybe not. Okay, we might need to quit now after turning that setting on and rejoin. And it's not working. That's weird. Yeah, so you can see you don't want to change too much after you get it working. Just leave it between, you know, 256 and 500 render distance. And then, you know, just don't reload or unload your shaders too much. 
but <laughs> I think I think that covered everything. I'm just gonna close my Minecraft to hopefully fix this, which it should actually. If I reload this all, it would work.